How's it going, my peeps? It is now time for the raw results slash highlights and review video. I'll go over the raw results, give you guys some of the highlights of my opinion and my thoughts on the show. So the show kicks off with Vicky and Paul Heyman coming out, and they show The Rock making fun of Paul Heyman and Vicky Guerrero in the Rock concert last week, and they're mad about that. So Vicky actually announces that The Rock is banned from the arena tonight, or that if he shows up and he gets in the arena, then she's going to have him arrested. And then they show a camera backstage, or actually not backstage, in the parking lot where The Rock wants to go in. But you have like security or uh, police officers stopping him, telling him that if he, you know, tries to go in, then they'll, they'll have to arrest him. He cracks a couple jokes about Paul Heyman and Vicky saying that they should arrest CM Punk and Paul Heyman instead. Uh, says Vicky has her head up her ass or something like that. And he says, you know, somehow, some way, he's going to uh, show up in that arena tonight. It's not a matter of uh, if he's going to do it, but a matter of when. And then Vicky is still in the ring, all mad at, you know, The Rock's jokes. And uh, she finishes off her promo or the segment with If You Smell What The Vic Is Cooking. And then Michael Cole and Jerry The King Lawler announce a Beat The Clock Challenge where superstars are going to face off. And a Beat The Clock Challenge where the one who wins his matchup in the quickest amount of time gets to choose when he enters the Royal Rumble matchup. And as soon as they announce that, I'm like, okay, I bet either John Cena or Ryback is going to win the Beat the Clock Challenge and then announce that he wants to enter as the number one entrant in the Royal Rumble matchup because he doesn't do anything the easy way and he doesn't want to win the Rumble the easy way or some something like that or something of the sort. So anyways, the first Beat the Clock Challenge was Antonio Cesaro versus Randy Orton. It was a pretty decent match. Randy won with the RKO after 11 minutes and 36 seconds. After that, you have a Shield promo of them just talking about, well, not really talking about, but it was more so footage of them just attacking, you know, Randy, The Miz, Ryback, pretty much everybody that they've attacked. And then Big Show comes out for a match, and on the announcer's table, uh, they announced Michael Cole and Jerry the King Lawler announced that Del Rio and Big Show are going to have a rematch at the Rumble, but it's going to be it's gonna be another last man standing match. And then Zack Ryder comes out, so it's Big Show versus Zack Ryder. Big Show beats him in, like, under a minute with the knockout punch or something like that. And after the match, he, uh, by the way, Brad Maddox came out, like, during the matchup. He came in from the crowd to the announcer's table. But anyways, after the matchup, Big Show, I think, put his foot on uh, Zack Ryder and counted to 10. Kind of like a preview, you know, of what might happen at the Rumble. And that's pretty much it. After that, Paul Heyman is backstage on the phone talking to somebody saying... Uh, the Rock isn't going to be in the building or isn't going to be uh, able to enter the building or something like that. And then Brad Maddox uh, comes up to him and he says, he tells Paul Heyman, just like him, he's going to do anything he can to keep his dreams alive. And then Paul Heyman, and he actually praises Brad Maddox, says he admires his dedication. And he says he changed his mind about Brad Maddox. They shake hands and that's pretty much it after that. You have Ryback versus Heath Slater. And it's actually not a beat the clock match, so I was surprised there. Anyways, Ryback wins in a pretty quick fashion. And then you see The Rock backstage uh, with the police officers once again. Still trying to convince them to let him in. Says, you know, they're there to serve the people, not Vicky. And it, at some point it looked like they were actually going to let him in. But then Vicky comes up to them and is like, you know, if you don't listen to me, you're going to get suspended and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, Vicky tells The Rock that she's, she can actually let him in the ring or in the arena if uh, he apologizes to her. But The Rock says, no, he's going to do it on his own terms. And uh, then he tells the officers that he's got an idea. Oh, yeah, and I also forgot to mention, after Ryback won his matchup, he uh, cut a short promo saying his job is fun and that the Rumble will lead him to main event WrestleMania. Anyways, afterwards, CM Punk comes out for a promo. Pretty much um, just talking about the championship reign and how he's going to beat The Rock at the Rumble. Nothing, you know, new. And afterwards, you had another beat the clock match. This time, it's Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz. Towards the end of the matchup, The Miz uh, locked on the figure four. But then AJ got on the apron and distracted the referee. While she was doing that, Big E dragged Dolph Ziggler towards the ropes. He grabs the ropes. And then the referee, once he turns around, he sees Dolph Ziggler grabbing the ropes, so he forces Miz to let go of the figure four. A few moments afterwards, Big E distracts the Miz, and uh, that allows Dolph Ziggler to hit the zigzag and uh, pin 
The Miz and get the victory and actually beat the clock or beat the time of Randy Orton. So Ziggler set a time to beat of 10 minutes and 56 seconds. And then after that, you have Daniel Bryan and Kane's uh, anger management graduation ceremony, whatever. And uh, pretty much it just ends with everybody hugging, Jerry the King Lawler, Michael Cole hugging, and Justin Roberts, and uh, Dr. Samson ha hugging, and uh, you know some people from the crowd, and Daniel Bryan, Kane, and Dr. Shelby hugging as well. Anyways, after that, it's uh, Caitlyn versus Alicia Fox. Pretty quick match, Caitlyn wins with the spear. And then afterwards, you see Paul Heyman backstage with CM Punk, says that he wants him to sit in the skybox. And watch as Paul Heyman has a message for The Rock tonight. And that it's dedicated to CM Punk. So anyways, uh, Heyman is then in the ring. And he says earlier on in the night when Punk cut his, cut his promo. Most of the stuff he said went over the head of the people. And because of that, Paul Heyman is going to simplify it. Anyways, eventually, he ends up calling the people stupid. And The Rock stupid. And that's when The Rock comes out. He comes out with a ticket. Man, I, I didn't know when you have a ticket, you can actually, you know, get in, get inside the ring, you know, talk in the microphone, and all that stuff, you know, but anyways, whatever, Rock is in the arena somehow, you know, because he got a ticket, he can do that, so anyways, uh, he gets in the ring, pretty much tells Paul Heyman to get out right away, so Paul Heyman gets out, talks about CM Punk, how he's gonna beat him, and uh, talks about how once he beats them, everybody's going to be um, chanting or uh, singing, whatever, free at last, free at last. Anyways, uh, once he ends his promo at If You Smell What The Rock Is Cooking, the lights go off. And then the shield starts attacking The Rock and they take him out with the triple power bomb. And then CM Punk goes on the promo and says, while, CM, while The Rock, I mean, is the great one. He isn't great enough to beat the best in the world. And that ends the segment. And then after that, it's Sheamus versus Wade Barrett in another beat the clock match. They've got to beat Dolph Ziggler's time of 10 minutes and 56 seconds. It seemed like Sheamus was going to beat the time uh, when he was about to hit the bro kick. But then Dolph Ziggler, Big E, and AJ all come out. AJ gets in the ring, kind of distracts Sheamus, and then she gets out. And that slight distraction allows Barrett to hit the, um, what's it called? I think it's, well, it's the sidewalk slime. He hits that. And, uh, he goes for the cover, but he doesn't get the three counts. Anyways, um, uh, Chase just doesn't end up beating the time. He hits the bro kick, but once he hits it, there's, like, two seconds left. So he doesn't get the time to go for the cover. And because of that, Dolph Ziggler actually wins the beat the clock challenge. And here I was, thinking that... John Cena and Ryback were going to win uh, the Beat the Clock Challenge and announce that they're, they want to go in as number one. But that didn't happen. And instead, Dolph Ziggler wins the Beat the Clock Challenge with 10 minutes and 50 seconds as his time. So then Dolph Ziggler, AJ, and Biggie go to Vicky's office. They're all happy that they won the Beat the Clock Challenge and now he can choose whatever number he wants to enter at. And Dolph is like, you know, should I pick 27 or 30? And he says he wants to pick number 30. And then Vicky says, you know, she didn't say you could pick any number. She then says uh, the winner of the Beat the Clock Challenge gets to choose between number 1 and 2. And then she laughs and leaves the office. And then you see Paul Heyman and CM Punk walking backstage. They run into Vince McMahon, who pretty much tells CM Punk that if the Shield interferes in the matchup this Sunday at the Rumble, then CM Punk will be stripped of the WWE Championship. After that, it's Del Rio versus Tensai one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, Del Rio wins a match with a moonsault. And after that, he says, yeah, you know, in the last man standing match, uh, somebody will be counted down for the, for the count of 10 or whatever, but it's not going to be the big show doing the counting. It's going to be him. And uh, the counting will be done in Spanish. So then he starts counting to 10 in Spanish with the crowd. And uh, that's pretty much it. After that, they announced Bob Backlund as another Hall of Fame 2013 inductee. After that, John Cena comes out to address the WWE Universe about the Rumble. Cries a couple jokes in the beginning about what people do on Sundays. Says this Sunday he's going to be uh, winning the Royal Rumble matchup. His music then hits... But then, uh, Sheamus' music hits, he comes out, says he's gonna win the Rumble, 
And then I think the primetime players' music hits, they come out saying they don't got time for that or something like that. And then I think Randy's music hits, he comes out, says he's going to win the Rumble. You, you get the picture. A bunch of superstars come out saying they're going to win the Rumble. And then, like, the entire roster or something like that, they all come out. And there's a huge brawl in the ring and people getting thrown out the ring and stuff like that. And that ends the show. So, uh, what did I think about tonight's show? Highlight of the night? Well, for me, I enjoy the fact that Tall Seeker won the Beat the Clock Challenge. And uh, I will say, I didn't expect the whole, you know, surprise where Vicky told Dolph that he only gets to pick between the number one and two. I know some people might complain about that, but honestly, I thought that was clever. I don't know. It's just, just, I didn't expect that at all. And I I think it's cool since, you know, Dolph is a heel, so he doesn't really actually, you know, get the advantage there. He has to go in as number one or number two, which is pretty much the same thing. And also, I guess, the shield attacking The Rock, just because I didn't expect that to happen, you know, on tonight's Raw. I expected that maybe to happen at the Rumble, but until the Rumble, I didn't expect the shield to attack The Rock. Now, as far as, you know, the overall show, what did I think about it? I'd give it maybe a 6 or a 6.5. I do enjoy Beat the Clock challenges. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can click that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And also, they announced that the Raw Roulette will return, I think, next week. So, in honor of that, I might do a ZD13 Roulette episode on uh, that same day. Who knows? We'll see. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I'm out, guys. See ya.